Hi, my name is Dr. Edward Cho, and I am one of the physicians at the House Clinic. In this video, I'll be talking about some balance or vestibular exercises that you can do at home. Please be aware that not all dizziness conditions will be suitable for these balance exercises. Therefore, I recommend that before you start them, you see your physician and make sure you get an appropriate diagnosis. Furthermore, there are certain balance conditions that are better served with seeing a trained vestibular physical therapist. If you want to find one in your area, you can go to the Vestibular Disorders Association website. The vestibular exercises that I will be discussing are a modified version of the cawthorn Cooksey exercises. These are exercises that target the three main inputs to balance, which include visual, inner ear, and postural or proprioceptive. The way the visual system is targeted is through a variety of eye tracking exercises. The inner ear is targeted through exercises that emphasize the vestibulo-ocular reflex. And finally, the proprioceptive portion is targeted through exercises of the neck and the joints in the body. Please don't be frustrated if you find that you're not able to go through the exercises on the first try. These exercises are meant to be part of a progression and to be advanced upon step by step. Also, please remember that safety is first. If at any point you feel unsafe or at a fall risk, I ask that you stop the exercises immediately. This is an overview of the exercises that we will be discussing in this video. The first progression of exercises starts in the sitting position. They start with a series of eye tracking exercises. What you want to do is move your eyes up and down, side to side, and out to in. The way you move out to in is by focusing on an object about arm's length, such as this pen, and bringing it within six inches of your nose. The next set of exercises are head exercises. Once again, you want to focus on a pen in front of you about arm's length, and you want to move your whole head up and down while keeping the pen in focus. This is an exercise that you will first start slowly, and as you progress, you will increase the speed. Then you can do it from side to side, once again, starting slowly and gradually picking up speed. The next exercise you want to do is a shoulder shrugging exercise. What you want to do is shrug your shoulders backwards and forwards. You can alternate between the two. The next exercise is one where you're putting an object on the ground and picking it up. You can do it with your left hand and also with your right hand. The next progression of exercises are done while standing. The first three are a repeat of the prior exercises in the sitting position. They include the eye exercises where you look up and down, side to side, and out to in. The head exercise is where you are focused on an object that is arm's length and moving your entire head up and down and left to right. And finally, the shoulder shrugging exercises where you shrug your shoulders and rotate backwards and forwards. The next exercise is one where you are changing from a sitting to standing position. Do this initially with your eyes open and then with your eyes shut. The next exercise is a variation of this, where you are changing from a sitting to standing position and turning around in between. Please be sure to alternate the directions that you turn as you're doing this exercise. The next two exercises require throwing a ball from hand to hand. The first one involves throwing the ball above eye level, and the next one is throwing the ball from hand to hand under your knee. And you can alternate between the right knee and the left knee. The final two exercises are probably the most difficult ones and the ones you should be most careful of. Be sure that you're close to a surface such as a table. 
The first one is standing on one foot. Start with one side, then move to the other. Repeat this exercise with your eyes closed, first on one foot, then on the other. The final exercise is one where you are walking along a straight line. Make sure you do this in an area that is not cluttered so that you are not at fall risk. Follow this line and walk heel to toe while keeping your arms out in order to maintain your balance. Hopefully, as you progress through these exercises, you'll find some improvement in your dizziness condition. If not, then I would recommend that you follow up with your physician or a trained vestibular physical therapist. I hope these exercises were very helpful for you. Thank you.